What's going on Gemini? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading where we focus on love and relationships. So in this reading Gemini, we're going to focus on two separate people, the relationship you have with a past person and also a new slash current person. So uh, feel free to take what resonates as always. But before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know, Gemini, that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading. And I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, Gemini, definitely smash that like button. It goes a far away. If you're a new viewer, definitely smash that subscribe button as well. It would also, I would also really appreciate that. Or I said, it would also appreciate that. So maybe the autistic mystic is an it now. It's not me, but like the pendulum. Okay. Anyway, um, uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to focus on the past person. So someone that you've, you know, in your past, you've had dealings with. Now, what we're going to do, how would you know who this past person is? Okay, because some of you have multiple. How would you know who this past person is? Let's see. Who's this past person for Gemini? Well, first of all here, um, you have Sir Nunos popping out. I'm getting like a very earthy person or someone who has a high sex drive, okay? Someone who has a high, yeah, definitely earthy. Okay, could be an earth sign. For a lot of you, it's gonna be an earth sign. You have Gaia and you have uh, Sir Nunos. For a lot of you, this person could be connected to Egyptian energy. You could have had a conversation, Gemini, about like, oh, we had past lives in ancient Egypt or they, they're like an anthropologist, etc. Something about, um, Something about Egyptian vibes combined with earthy vibes. Now, there's also something about like this person, Gemini, is not afraid to speak their truth and they're not afraid to die for a greater cause. Um, like whoever this person is, like they're very grounded, but they also um, almost like they're willing to die for a spiritual mission. So if you're dealing with someone who is like scared, it's not... I'm, I'm getting, for, for most of you, that's not going to be who this person is. You also have charity. So this, I'm getting like this person like almost is like a spiritual gangster or like whoever this person is, Gemini, like they go to war with like the matrix and like they like use their earth energy to like to fight some sort of spiritual battle. Okay. And that could be anything like that could be like they are some sort of like activist, like they could be the type to like go protest or like they could be the type they're just earthy, but they use that to their advantage when it comes to their purpose. That's what I got. That's how you know who this past person is. For some of you, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But that's what I got so far. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and see how this, what's this, what's this past person's feelings towards Gemini? What's this past person, what's the vibe? Let's see. What's this past person's feelings towards Gemini? Oh my gosh. Gemini, this person loves you. This person still has very strong feelings for you and this person still thinks on and off about like, I would marry Gemini. Wow, like this person also wants a new beginning with you even if they don't show it. Um, there's something about whoever this past person is, Gemini, they felt like you were, it was, a, it, it was destiny for you to meet them. They also feel like you help you severely played a role in them leveling up their own life. There's, I'm gonna show you the cards that popped out. All upright, ready? The Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Pentacles, Hierophant, Queen of Wands, Star, Ace of Cups, Lovers, Chariot, and the Four of Wands. <laughs> did, did, there's not one conflicting card here. And what I'm getting is like, a lot of you have a very tumultuous past with this person, okay? You do, but they don't care. 
they don't care. There's something about like there's there's something about like you don't even realize how you affect this person. Or like you don't realize like the like the um let me do a few, I need to clarify this. There's something about like, a lot of you met this person, Gemini, in real life. A lot of you, what I'm getting is like this person, whoever this past person is, um, whoever this past person is, like for, my, for most of you, and for some of you, you could have met on a dating app, there's something about a, chat, a chance encounter. There's something about like, um, but the way that this, per I mean, Gemini, this person is still at, like, even if they're involved with someone else, even if they try to like, cause a lot of you, what I'm getting is like, you're not in communication, but they are still, they still love you. They really do. I almost feel like, well, why do they love you? Right? Like, why is the lover's card here? But then you have the ace of cups. That's a new beginning. You have this, there's renewal here. This is not old. There's no six of cups here. So this person is not even oriented towards the past with you. Like they're not like, they're not sitting here dwelling on like, oh, this was great with Gemini. This was great with Gemini. They're like thinking like, oh, like, well, how do I get them back? Like this person could even be obsessed with getting you back and like is trying to play it off like they're not. You have the star and you also have the ace of cups. Why is the lover's card here for their feelings about you? Now, some of you I'm getting this person already passed on. That's a sub message. Not all of you. Some of this person, this person already died. And you have to understand that they, like, no matter what happened, they think back, like, with the most joyful, like, they're in their spiritual perspective. I don't know why that came through, but it did. Why is the lover's card here? Um, the lover's card is clarified by the devil, the six of pentacles, and also the fool. Okay, for a lot of you here, like, <laughs> they feel like you were a gift from the universe sent to them. But they also, once again, the devil is, like, is obsession and the fool is a new beginning. Whoever this person is, they want a new beginning with you because there's something about you, there's something about you balance each other out. Like I wouldn't be surprised, Gemini. Um, look at the elements in your chart. Like there's something about like this person could be like all air and like you could be all like fire. Like there's something about, or like all water. Like there's something about masculine feminine polarity of balance. I'm, get, I'm seeing an angel as I said that. Uh, but they're also like, I'm just gonna be honest, they wanna have sex, they, they're obsessed with your body. There is something about that. It's pure, it's not all that, but the queen of wands is here. And the devil, the fool, like they, it's either that they're obsessed with you, they're, they're like low key obsessed with getting you back, or they really wanna have sex with you again. Obviously this is about intimate relationships. This is not like a friendship reading, this is a love reading, okay? So I can say that. Um, I can't believe this though. And I feel like deep down, like, I feel like deep down, like you know this, right? Like you know this, but like, I just also feel like it's going unsaid. I also feel for a lot of you, they're, they're involved with someone else. I, you know what I feel? This is gonna go, for some of you, they're bait, like, for, I'm literally serious. For some of you, like they're, you, they're almost like using someone to like bait you. I'm serious. If you see them like involved with someone, like don't take the surface appearance for like reality or like understand that like, for some, because I mean, some of you, this person, like you can't be the, you can't be the devil if you're not smart, right? You can't be the devil if you're not smart. For a lot of you, you need to be careful that, for some of you, they also could be trying to, now for some of you, even though they want a new beginning with you, they're also trying to rub something in your face. I'm gonna be honest, like the fool, the devil, and the six of pentacles here, Gemini, there is something about here, if they have a new beginning with someone and like they're making sure, like if, if you can see it somehow, or if you're aware of it, like there is something like they want that to happen. They want to make you jet, like et cetera, right? So this person, although there is no, like what I'm getting is like the only ill will of intention this person has to you is to get you back. It's not like that they, want to get you back and then like treat you like shit. No, it's like they want to like do whatever they have to do to get you back even if that involves like some sort of nefarious like weird energy that they, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. So I understand like if you don't want a new beginning with this person, then like you just have to know like 
at least someone loves me. At least someone loves me, you know? I'm just getting like emotional during this. So, <laughs> oh my God. Let's go um, deep down if they had the guts. What would this person tell you if they had the guts? <sighs> Let's see. What would this person really tell you, Gemini? Hmm. Okay, well, on the one hand, this person does feel like we need to let each other go because they feel like there's, there is something about like an obsession. I feel like they both, like they feel like you're obsessed and they know that they're obsessed and they're like, if this is not gonna be a thing, then we need to let each other go. That's like a sub message. It's, it's, it's almost coming through as like, once again, the devil, six of pentacles and the fool to the lovers. Like what's going, like something needs to happen here. Okay, but hold on, what, hold on. What would this person tell you if they had the guts? What would this person, or this past person tell you if they had the guts? Ah, you crack it. Hold on, I'm sorry. Like I, okay, the thing about me with tarot is I know when like just 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 bear with me if you want an accurate reading just gotta wait just gotta wait hold on two more what would this person tell you if they had the guts gemini i love you unconditionally and that's like that's the first message that came through I love you unconditionally. You and I were too young. My life is not together as it seems. Oh my God. <laughs> Gemini, I love you unconditionally. You and I were too young and my life is not as together as it seems. Having said that, for some of you, this is a twin flame. Your twin flames in me DMs, hey baby. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, let's move on to the new person because I feel like a lot of you having despite this, like there is still, you're still dealing with a new person. Um, so if you thought that was good, well, let's get into this new current person, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and see. This person like really, like this is gonna sound really weird. This is gonna sound really weird. This person believes like you were like, like you were like their daughter in a past, like they, they think like like there's some sort of like, for some reason they want to like unconditionally love you or like towards other people, they like don't. Does that make sense? Like, I, like it's, it's a weird one. Some of you it's a twin flame thing and you know it. Okay, but enough of the past person. Let's go to the new person, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is look into how would you know who this new person is? How would Gemini know who this new person is that's on your mind? Let's see. Um, okay, whoever this person is, they feel that their awareness is severely increased when they're around you. You have Master Buddha increased awareness, and um, it's not coming through as like they're some sort of, they could be very spiritual, but th there's something coming through right off the bat, Gemini. You're going to know who this new person is because they view you as some sort of spiritual beacon, or they want to work with you. Um, it could have to do with a job that has nothing to do with spirituality, but they want to like they almost think you have a secret. They think you have like occult knowledge. They think you're like, a, they think you're very knowledgeable in something. Okay, that's how you're gonna know who this new person is for some of you. For others of you, you have magic manifestation in reverse though. Some of you, they're gonna be connected to Egyptian energy here, Gemini. Okay, but you have magic manifestation in reverse. I feel like this person, there could be a wound around the belief that they can manifest what they want or some of you they're helping you with that 
Um, and you also have Kuan Yin, care and compassion. There is something about Asian. Um, for some of you here, Gemini, you're dealing with an Asian. Uh, they have a, some sort of Asian heritage, okay? Um, I always say, <clears throat> don't get too attached to these opening oracle messages, but the first, the main thing that came through Gemini is like, um, this new person or the current person, like they literally, well, let's see, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, right? Um, how does this new person feel about you, Gemini? How does this new slash current person feel about you? Let's see. How does this new slash current person feel about Gemini? Okay. Um, let's see what we got. Okay. For some of you, this is, um, <clears throat> there's something about money and work that's like, that's tied up to this. For a lot of you, they feel like they want to learn something from you. Um, this is also going to sound weird, Gemini, but for a lot of you, especially for you like high, high priestesses out there, there's something about this person wants to have sex with you so that they can like absorb your spiritual energy there's something that they just recent like some of you this person recently had an awakening or some of you this person could be far along the path but you're like two steps there's something about you being ahead of them spiritually in some sort of way okay the, w the way that this person feels about you though gemini um they feel like there's something that you're not moving on from or they're they are shook on something for some of you if they know about the old person if they know about the past person and the connection that you have with them, they're shook on that. Not going to be for all of you. For others of you, they feel like that you're a needle in a haystack. Like they can't believe that they manifested you. They can't believe that they have this opportunity with you. Um, for a lot of you here, they feel you're really going to help pull them up out of something. Um, for a lot of them, Gemini, they feel like you are their saving grace. Whether that's a minor level or whether that's major. So what I'm picking up on is like for some of you, this is going to be Gemini like um, they feel like it's practical. Like, okay, Gemini can help me with my career or Gemini can help me work on this. For others of you, they literally put you on this pedestal. Okay, they literally do. Now, just to give you a ju juxtaposition the way that the past person felt about you was some sort of unconditional love type thing. The way that this person feels about you is they do want something from you. I'm going to be honest, Gemini. They want something from you. They want your spiritual energy or they want your knowledge or they feel like you're just good to have around because it will motivate them. They also want to come in pretty fast. Um, I'm not seeing much about like commitment here. So there is a potential for this new slash current person that they just want to get something from you and then bounce. I am getting that for some of you. Some of you are not aware of that though. Um, let's clarify. Let's clarify with it because the centerpiece to this reading is the three of pentacles. Um, for some of you, this person, this is someone you work with and they have feelings for you. So for some of you, there's a blurred line between work and love. For some of you, you met this person or you will meet this person at career setting, college, you know, some sort of event, some sort of like mastermind group, some sort of, or just regular thing, job. Um, this person does have a lot of wounding though. Hold on, let's, but, but hold on. Let's focus on one thing at a time. Um, why is the three of pentacles here for, yeah, they, they, okay, the nine of wands came out twice here in their feelings for you. For some of you, they feel like they are meant to help you maybe advance your career uh, so that you can dissolve that wounding that you have, especially for those of you that have been trying to like manifest more abundance or, or change your, your career. They, for some of you, they feel like they're meant to help you with that. For others of you, roles is reversed. I'm picking up very strongly. For others of you, they feel they could be ahead of you career-wise, but below you spiritual knowledge wise 
I don't know why I'm getting this Gemini, I am. The Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Nine of Wands here. For some of you, this could be a past coworker, or this could be someone that um, you used to work with that now is coming around. But for most of you, the way that they... There's something that they want from you, though. Okay? Now, it's an interesting one, Gemini. I'm telling you, it's a very interesting one. Um... Okay, well, let's do a few more a few more clarifications. Why is the Four of Wands here? The Four of Wands is a very harmonious aspect. Let's see why it's here. How does this person feel about Gemini? They could... F you do yeah, I'm getting an interesting vibe off this person. Um, yeah, they definitely put you on a pedestal, though. Uh-huh. And it's not like the last person. Or not like the... Pe it's a different type of thing. Um, why am I getting, the... yeah, well, I'm telling you it has to do with work, it could have to do with ending at a work, and, okay, they're also shook off some sort of collaboration that you have with other people, though. Um, this person, this person has the capacity to be very jealous. Whoever this new slash current person is, like, you may have not seen this side of them, I'm telling you, this person has a capacity to be extremely jealous. Um, the Four of Wands is clarified by the Empress. Also, the Five of Wands in reverse, the Death card and the Three of Pentacles here. For some of you here, they're, whoever this new slash current person is, is a sub-message or just a message in general. They're really, a f they're really shook on some sort of past connection that you have that could be trying to take you away from that. For some of you, like I said before, the reading that we just did on the past person, if, if this new slash current person is aware of the connection that you have with the past person, Gemini, they are completely shook on it. Okay? Or when they figure it out, they will be shook on it. If this is someone you want to get serious with, right, and then you tell them. So there's something about that. There's something about being very afraid that they're going to lose you to the competition. Whether, for some of you, that has nothing to do with the past person. It has to do with other people. And it has to do with work colleagues. I don't know why I keep getting work, like, like there's something about, um, this person wants to steal you away from giving knowledge to others and like giving it to them. So you need to be really careful that you enforce proper boundaries here, Gemini. You know what I'm saying? Because this person knows you're really smart. Like, I don't know what it, like the way that it was coming through is like, they know you're spiritually smart or like spiritually very advanced and they want a piece of that whatever that means, right? They want a piece of that. And that's just the frequency, that, you're welcome. That's the frequency that I'm getting. <clears throat> and um, for a lot of you, they know that you're still, for a lot of you, they know that you still have a toxic relationship with a past person, whether it's the person that we talked about or whether it's a different person that didn't come up in the reading. They still, they know, <clears throat> they feel that you're still fixated on a new beginning with someone else. They can like feel it. Okay, so just be aware of that. And so, all right. Well, with that being said, if this new slash per current person had the guts to reveal how they really feel, what's the message that this new slash current person has for Gemini if they had the guts to reveal it? A lot of you, this person is Asian or Indian. Not going to be for all of you, obviously, but it's just like how you extra know for those that need the extra boost. What's the message? What's the message for Gemini? If they had the guts. Let's put their subconscious on display. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's Gemini. There's something about commitment or not commitment. For some of you, this person is like literally like gonna be the type to be like, if you wanna be with me, we have to get like an arranged marriage. And like and like they're trying to like figure out if you would one day be open to that. For others of you, Gemini though, you please use your intuition. They want no commitment with you. The reason why I say that is because the two cards that came out are I replay our conversations over and over. 
So whoever this person is, they're very obsessed with the dynamic. I replay our conversations over and over, and we both know that I am not the one for you. And this one is standing out. We both know that I'm not the one for you. So whoever this new person is, Gemini, there is a danger that there's some sort of incompatibility when it comes to commitment. The first thing that I picked up is that this person wants some sort of thing from you. They want your energy and then they want to bounce. That's the first one, but it's not for all of you. For others of you, if they're the one that's trying to get you to be their uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, if they're trying to get you, Gemini, to be into a marriage, because for some of you, there's for some of you, there is an Indian person who wants you to um, be like married into the family type thing, and it could be cross cultural, and but but that's why this is here. We both know I'm not the one for you. So there's something here, Gemini, about um, there's something here about a, a, like a complete incompatibility, or someone's not being completely like we both know I'm not the one for you, and I replay our conversations over and over. What else do we have? I wish I could share my new good news with you, and I'm so attracted to you. So there definitely like is a lot of potential here, but I just feel I, I feel like there's I feel like there's such a like a like someone is a I'm just trying to do my best, right? Take what you resonate with. Now, let's go ahead and get some advice, Gemini. Um, hold on, the deck isn't even over here. Um, if you wanted to make it work with this person then what frequency do you need to show up as? What frequency do you need to embody to make it work with this person, Gemini? Let's see. Integrity. All right, let's see what we got here. If you wanna make it work with this person, you have intimacy, logic, well, let me just show you. Intimacy, logic, sexuality, gratitude, calling, and self-awareness, okay? Um, very interesting stuff. So, so there is something about like you need, like if you wanna make it work, you have intimacy and sexuality here, okay? Um, also logic, gratitude, calling has to do with your purpose. I told you there's something that they want to learn from you or et cetera. You also have self-awareness and you also have integrity. So with that being said, I'm gonna conclude this reading. I hope that this reading helped you and I'll talk to you next.